there really are limited options for women who cannot take hormone replacement therapy. It really goes to show how important it is that we work on potential hormone-free treatments that could provide relief from menopausal symptoms for all kinds of women. We're here to shed light on a universal transition that all women will go through called menopause. What it is, why it happens, and what we can do to make it more tolerable. Lately, it seems like menopause has been having kind of a moment, hasn't it? It sure has. There's no doubt that there's a lot of talk um, around the topic of menopause, and rightly so. I think for many years, women have been very vocal about the symptoms that they've been having, but it's only as of late that we are seeing science and medicine catch up to what women have been expressing to be really troublesome symptoms for them. If you think about it, nearly 50 million women globally transition into menopause a year, and 6,000 women here in the US alone a day transition into menopause. There are some women that come into it, um, we call it medically induced menopause, uh, either because of certain medication that they're taking or surgery, similar to the experience that Nicole had. Well, Nicole, we work together at Bayer, but today you're here to share your story as a patient. Uh, would you like to tell us some more? Sure, so I was diagnosed with breast cancer after my first routine mammogram at age 40. It was a big shock. I'm doing better now after surgery and chemo but I need to take certain medications to reduce the risk of recurrence in the future. And that's what's put me into early menopause. Well, I'm so sorry that you've had to go through such an ordeal. Uh, wh what is it like now to be in early menopause? You're experiencing these hot flashes that just come on out of nowhere, night sweats that impact your sleep, your mood changes, achy joints, and just an overall change in your body. You feel older, even though you may be 40, 41, early 40s, you feel much older than that. So it's it's a journey and it takes, it takes time to understand it and get used to it. Well, that sounds quite uncomfortable. I mean, I have to admit, because I've worked closely with you on some projects and I, I never noticed a thing. <laughs> so you, you do an amazing job not showing it, but, but thanks for sharing what you're dealing with. And it, it's really brave for you to open up about such a personal experience and I, I really, I, I appreciate it. And Nicole, your experience of menopause is very reflective of what so many women experience as they go through this transition. Most frequently, women will come forward with the hot flashes, mm -hmm. the sleep disturbances, and the mood changes. It also represents a real impact on their life, whether they go through it sort of naturally, if you will, or they're put into it medically. And so it's an important quality of life issue that deserves acknowledgement and treatment. Yasmin, let's get into the science of menopause. I mean, why do women experience these symptoms? What, what's going on in their bodies that lead to these changes? The bottom line is when estrogen decreases during the stage of life, or if estrogen is removed from the body, as in the case of um, certain treatments with medications or surgery, um, what happens is that there is this loss of the positive feedback going to the brain, signaling that estrogen is being produced. There is a hyperactivation of that thermoregulatory pathway within the brain. So, so it's kind of like somebody disconnected the thermostat. Correct, that's exactly and, right. Uh, now, the, now the heat's just uh, set on, on full out. That's correct, so it disrupts this um, body control mechanism, right, or this th thermostat as you said, resulting in symptoms that women experience like the hot flashes, like the sleep di disturbances. And Nicole, I, I suspect that because of your cancer medication that you can't take a hormone therapy to, to help you with these symptoms. That's right. I do take Bear's one a day multivitamin for menopause, which is great because I was given the recommendation from my doctors that I should take magnesium when I'm going through menopause but there really are limited options for women who cannot take hormone replacement therapy. Which is why many of us here at Bayer come to work every day, myself included, because women's health has been in the DNA of this organization for decades. For every stage of her life, whether it be the, the supplements from a prenatal yeah. vitamin perspective, whether it be during the reproductive years of her life or um, during the menopausal transition. Fantastic. Well, we really look forward to releasing more news very soon <laughs> on how we're gonna continue to make a meaningful difference in the lives of, of so many women that we're here to serve. So thank you so much, Yasmin, Nicole, for joining us today. And thanks to all of our audience.